Hey fire signs, this is Shannon with Apex Tarot Pure Spirit and I'm here to do your next 72 hour readings. Um, I actually did these and I still have them locked on my phone but I'm doing another set of them. And uh, I may um, unlock those, I'm not sure, I'm just listening to the spirit right now uh, on that. But I am doing another set of them and so here we are. And today's date is the 10th and we'll run it through the 13th, okay? So, uh, with that said, happy birthday to you Sagittarians out there. I hope it's fantastic for you. Um, this will be for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The sun's there right now. And then, I believe on the 12th, we have a full moon in Sagittarius. So, the sun and the moon there. Um, powerful energy. It's about truth there. And uh, spirituality, the higher mind, higher understanding, traveling, and stuff like that going on. Law, uh, alchemizing things together, reconciliation, all that kind of stuff. So, um, anyway, that's kind of energy that's around us right now, and uh, we're going to take a look at it for the next 72 hours, okay? So, let's get started. Okay, guys, so, I have my head in a bandana. You guys are my, I, I just speak to people over here on my channel. People know my process. I, you know, have went through hell and high water, <laughs> and uh, I just share with everyone here as, um, I'm just real personable. And um, so people wonder why I wear a lot of um, bandanas and stuff like that on my head. I've lost a lot of hair. Um, not really being stressed out, but being concerned and just going through stuff. And, and the divine showing me who I am. And, and uh, showing me through even ancient writings what would happen in this time. Because prophecy is obviously real. You're watching this, right? And uh, so anyway, if people wonder why I wear uh, bandanas and stuff mainly because I've lost a lot of hair going through uh, a lot of stuff here lately. Uh, our subconscious mind, like I said, I'm not stressed. I'm at complete rest on the inside, and um, but our subconscious mind goes off all the time. It knows more things than what we do. It's our spirit. So anyway, uh, for whatever reason, I just felt like saying that. A lot of, maybe people don't even care, but I mean, I got a complex about it. But it is what it is, and I am who I am, and I'm not embarrassed. Uh, I, it is what it is, and uh, <laughs> so with that said, let's get started, guys. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. Thank you, sweet divine. Please show me energies for Aries Leo Sagittarius. What's coming out here? We've got the hermit, and we've got the fool who has a mask on. And um, two high arcanas. There's a new beginning happening. I'm going to stick it back in the deck. Um, jumping off the cliff, really going within, trying to figure something out, how to communicate. There's been a disguise. I mean, the hermit has a meaning of a disguise, and the fool himself's got a disguise, a mask on. I always notice that in these. I take every single thing I see, and what spirit allows me to see and gives me something through them. So there could be somebody definitely a, has been a disguise around you, or you already knew that if you're in, if you're connected with your intuition. If this two different people. Um, one feels like they got one up on the other, but the, actually they don't. I just, the Spirit warned me to say that. So whoever you are, uh, both parties are in a disguise for some of you all, or will be, if this is future energy. Like I said, I'm going to put it back in the deck. They just hopped out here. We're going to take a look at them. Uh, both parties know about the disguise, but one party thinks that the other one don't see it, but they do. Just, just needed to say that so could be about work situations and things like that going on 88 okay that's a prejudice number uh, that'll take you back to Hitler and we know that we've been seeing a lot of that kind of stuff organizational stuff and um, lots of death energy as well okay you're gonna have to have to really um, use your strength here in the next 72 hours whoever that message was for okay We've got the Ten of Wands. Something's definitely over. It's been a hard battle. Uh, there's been deception here. There's been competition. Okay? There's been uh, back situations going on. This is your energy, guys, coming out here. Uh, there's uh, this has been a process. Having to carry a heavy, heavy burden. A, a lot of oppression, but it, the good thing about it is it's over absolutely over and we just seen that with the um with the uh full card that's a brand new beginning 
Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles coming out here, and this card, I love it because somebody's coming to apologize for throwing somebody out. Okay, it, we're in a time of reconciliation anyway, so the next 72 hours, be expecting someone who has put, or maybe this is you coming to them, or somebody's coming to you. Uh, but there is some kind of grace and change here because there's something that's over now, okay? Uh, something's definitely happening here happening here it, it, through something that has been really hard something positive is coming here the mask is being ripped off in a very large way yeah the moon itself we already had the moon up here uh, mothers in situation we got a mother picture of a mother here got the moon here and the moon here we got that full moon coming in uh, on the 12th and so it doesn't surprise me that we're getting this stuff. Something very emotional returning. Okay, we even have somebody here pointing towards the past. But it's also a new beginning. So if you're going to start, you know, a, a new beginning in a deceptive way, it's not going to work out good for you. Just saying, uh, it never does. Uh, people can't learn the lesson, so they have to go right back around and go back into the great. Um, so whatever that is. Because we got Spirit said not to say it, so I'm not going to say it. We got something very emotional happening. There's a Mercury. Yes, uh, somebody's got some kind of highlighted idea, communication, coming back around here. We know Mercury's come out of its shadow phases on the 7th. Something could have started for you all on the 7th at that time. Some kind of communication that stopped situations or will be in the next 72 hours. Some of you all are dealing with past energies and, and, and continuing in this. And some of you all, the Spirit's allowing you to see something. Um, either what you need to do or you should do in the next 72 hours or what's coming towards you. There's communication though coming. We have it in both places here, here and here. We have the moon here and here, which represent the mothers. We got a picture of a mother and a child. Somebody gonna come and speak something. Show me the five of pentacles, please. Show me the five of pentacles for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, from the tenth to the thirteenth. This is also a surgeon, a physician, so was the hermit energies. It's a guru of some kind. The magician's head's lit up here. It's got all four elements. Could be anybody. Overall energy is fire, which is your energy. I could be speaking to the cross watcher, obviously. I'm talking to other people. Something with your family. Yeah. There's the moon again and a weasel down here and family and celebration and a um, reconciliation happening here. There's also an ending here as well. We've got 10 in number. There's a judgment here as well that I'm seeing in the next uh, 72 hours for some of you all. It's, it's very emotional. There's a, there's a lot of the moon showing up here. Been very heavy burden situation for some of you all where money and contracts and physical situations. But we got six pentacles here and that's also a judgment. That's legalities and stuff. And where the sun's at right now is uh, also uh, connected to law energy. And somebody's going to be found out about money. For some of you all, something's coming to the light. I see the sun right here, right in the middle of this. And somebody's in love and coming toward you. It's been emotional and a burden, but um, maybe somebody from your past, six can 
go back to your past. We do have water energy here. Celebration. There's some kind of celebration also happening for some of you all. Show me the moon. The Eight of Pentacles wants to be shown here. And uh, somebody was doing something on um, line. There is a web here. Money, even next to this web itself. So some of you all make money on the web. Some of you all are deceiving in that. And um, there's a rat here. <laughs> Hillel himself. Um, something's emotional about somebody's work. It's very stable. Eight. Leo, your the eighth higher can would take you to Leo. The moon is uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, eighth house, Scorpio. We've also got pentacles here, so the other energy that would be connected to Scorpio would be Taurus energy in the world card. It's still Saturn ruled. We got deception here for some of you all. There's apologies about that in, in talking. Yeah, we got apologies about something for some of you all. Children, got pictures of children here. It's about your apprenticeship, and some people are tapped into their um, intuition in their job. Maybe do something like what I do online, and you're being led that way. And it's profitable because we have profit coming out here as well. A 14 wands, that's a temperance card. And that back, takes you right back to Jupiter energy. We see the sun here as well. And that's fortune. We have fortune here. We also have another pentacle on the magician's energy. Tapping into intuition because this energy is also very intuitive. Show me the magician. Show me the magician. Show me Mercury. Yes, victory. It's positive. Like I said, something's over here that had been deceptive. There's going to be speaking about weasel and a uh, weasel and deception and money situations, but there's very much profit here. Jupiter rule. And the house is there right now. We got another six here. That's about balancing. We were already seeing 14 wands. Something's very successful. There's a promotion here in the next 72 hours for some of you all. If it's not online, it's still work. It's at your work. Uh, some of you all are involved in some sneaky stuff at your work, but I really feel like that has to do with people coming around talking about that. And it's exposing it. Where things hadn't been talked about before. Let me just take one more card. The Ten of... Um, Wands, please, for Aries or Sagittarius. Thank you. The Queen of Pentacles. Uh, so in the negative energy that has been around you, somebody's been really, really stubborn and greedy because uh, uh, this would represent greed in the negative with the Queen of Pentacles, not a good mother at all, very stingy. But in the upright, those of you who have Earth in your chart for the upright, or what, whoever this is, this is a person. They're very fortunate. Something's ended here. There's reconciliation coming. Promotion. There's a tower itself. Somebody got knocked out of a tower or will be getting knocked out of a tower. Naked and ashamed. Okay? Uh, sudden changes. Just like that. Big. So that's a big change. Okay? 
Now, if we're talking, because like I said, somebody's going to be having some surgeries or it's already happened and maybe they've already either didn't go and they died. I don't know, but I do, I do know something's happening with that and I'm not going to leave it alone until I hear otherwise. And, um, but somebody got aneurysm and uh, this card came out last time and uh, about that because it's something right out of heaven knowledge is in the brain area and uh, this is surgeon okay and um, his head's even lit up here as well now if you go and you went then beautiful there's success here either way there's something successful in the next 72 hours for you fire signs and uh, if you're reconciling you're gonna have some amazing love making with somebody and uh, there's knowledge here. There's truth setting people free. This is illumination. This has been some kind of upheaval that happened, though, but that has turned around for something very, very positive here. It's going to be communicated. It's very intuitive. Apologies. Passion. Truth. We've got a lot of court cards here. Beautiful. We've got a lot of the moon energy coming up. So something major um, in a couple of days by the time the moon phases. Now, the moon pulls on you, right? And so you could be feeling some of this stuff. Uh, it could have already been feeling some of this stuff a little bit before, like today. If you're real sensitive, I feel that stuff real heavy when we have full moons. I like that something's over and something's beginning and it's very positive and there's communication coming and there's um, new opportunity to grow something. Some people got legalities where money is concerned and where deception and uh, it's positive. There's promotion here in a very big way, a very big way, just like that. Okay. And like I said, I've been saying, don't mess around with your life. If you've been um, going through things and your mind's been bothering you and you're just stressed out at night and you're just like, oh my God, what do I do? What, especially if you're a weasel. If you're a little weasel and you've stolen things and you're really in your mind and your mind and you think, oh, it ain't me. I'm just stressed. Well, it could cost you your life. And don't sit there and think, well, if I go in, then I'm caught. Well, you're going to get caught either way. Either the, the divine's going to come catch you, knock you out of your, your tower here, and you'll have to pay that way, or you'll end up going and being saved and have, having to go to jail and pay that way. Either way, um, I guess up to you if you want to live or die. Either way. Don't, don't, don't say that I didn't uh, give you a testimony, you know, testify that you needed to go. So, shalom.